15 years since a missing man was found murdered in Florence. A private detective and a crime podcast are hoping a renewed focus on this cold case will jog someone's memory in Northern Kentucky. Melissa Morgan is the host of Just the Tipsters. She's from Northern Kentucky, lives in California. Melissa, good morning. Good morning, Sheila. So Otha Young was an Alzheimer's patient from Louisville, and he was found yes. dead several years after he went missing in a storm drain in Florence. Tell me a little bit about the case. It's one of those things where if we're here to walk each other home, the people we need to protect are the young and the old. And Otha was able to drive his car. He left the hospital against medical advice and, and after a tiff with his family where they wanted him to stay. And he was apparently driving to another family member's home in Ohio. And along the way, he gets pulled over for a routine traffic stop in Florence but because his license was expired, the officer had him leave the car and took him to a Best Western hotel to check in for the night and he could retrieve his car later. He had actually made contact with family members in Louisville and they were on their way up to retrieve him the following day since it was around midnight that this happened. And he was never heard from again so until yeah, Go until ahead. his remains were found, right? Yes, How many li years yes. later in 2004? Uh, yeah, yes, his remains were uh, found um, and then he had took, well, his remains were found faster than that, I believe, but, but then it took such a long time to identify him okay. because whoever did this took away a lot of information, but left some information too. So, so yeah, so what, cl what clues were left from that murder? We, we don't know how he died. The, the Florence detective has never revealed that. Um, what clues were left that, that might help somebody solve the case? Detective Walt Cooley and private investigator Virginia Braden, who has done such great research on this case, went above and beyond to find out who he was. The clues that were left were so odd and obtuse. There was a video card uh, to a place that was defunct and they have no idea why he would have had that. It's from Fairfield, Ohio. Hmm. There were some cigarette butts, which I'm hoping will have some information. The keys to his car, the keys to his home. It was so difficult to know who it was because there was no identifier of his name. And it took such a long time to put the pieces together of this missing man. It was just, it's such a heartbreaking case. So you talked with private investigator Virginia Braden, um, who provided those photos on your podcast. You got a lot of downloads. Does she have a theory about what may have happened or why Mr. Young may have been killed? I think she does, and I believe Detective Cooley does. And I believe if you pay any attention to the details, you can come up with your own theory. It appears that he checked into the hotel, was probably just waiting for his family members to come and get him so he could get his car and someone took advantage of him. And the thing that's so awful is there was no reason to take advantage of this man. He didn't have a huge amount of money. He had, you know, his car was in the impound. There was nothing of value that he had that was worth his life. There's nothing worth your life. You don't take someone else's life unless right. it's self-defense. And someone took advantage of a sweet old man yeah in a very fragile situation. I'm gonna put his picture up one more time, Melissa, and real quickly before we have to wrap it up, um, just what what are they hoping someone will remember? Maybe someone who was in Florence in Northern Kentucky around that time, maybe it was at the Absolutely. hotel or along I-71? Absolutely, there has to be someone who worked at the hotel, who was familiar with the area, who saw an older gentleman, or who knows someone who may have done something terrible and told them about it or hinted at it, and they need to come forward. We know there has to be more than one person who knows something about this case, and it's infinitely solvable. We just need help. So you can call the Florence police or you can uh, give a tip to just the tipsters. Melissa Morgan, thank you so much for your commitment to uh, solving these cases right here in our neighborhoods. Thank you so much to you, Sheila, for all that you do. Stay well. We'll be right back.